All right, let's get her done. Well, it's hunting day number three in Alaska, caribou. If you guys watch past two episodes, you'll know that we came super close, just killing a few, shooting a few, we launched some arrows, but today is the day we have a feeling, but it's completely different weather. It's probably like 45 degrees, 50 degrees, raining pretty consistently. I mean, all morning we heard it on the tent and uh, everything's everything's wet. So it's gonna be a challenge today for sure, but I mean, it might make it a little easier to stalk because they can't hear as well, it's a little windier. So we just hope that they're moving. We woke up on camp and saw a few up on the mountain across and actually some other guys are trying to get on them, just a little bull, but they didn't they didn't successfully do it. So we, um, we're getting rocking here this morning. We're gonna get in the truck and start driving around and uh, you know, we're basically road hunting. We're, we're driving around until we spot them, you know, half mile, quarter mile, mile and a half off the road. And then we come up with a game plan and dive in and put the packs on if need be, or just go in light, make a couple hour hike out of it and uh, put a stock on them. But caribou move so fast. So if you don't put a game plan together quick, it doesn't happen. It's really wet. It's cold front time. Cold front. Cold front for the win. Dude, sick of gear for life. Dude, sage, dude. dude. So here's the situation. We have about a hundred caribou that we just rolled up on. And it's a Chinese fire drill because it's raining. We had to put the rain thing on the camera. We got to get all situated. I'm pretty sure there's a good bull in here. We're going to split up into two groups. Justin's going to go with me. Taylor and Sage are going to go after these. Wherever they went. Yeah, right there. All right. Does it look good? Like, is that system going to work for you? All right, let's get her done. You guys got rangefinder? All right, let's try to get her done. Oh, right there, look. Decent bull, decent bull. See, the thing is, is these dudes are going to the right. We need to get, we need to get doe down. Well, we're vantage point on this rock because it's the only thing that's around for any sort of cover. And they're about 300 yards out. And Justin and Sage, we're staging up here, so we got two points. And if they work towards us, then you know, hopefully someone gets a shot on something. But they're slowly grazing this way. It's just so open. It's literally so flat. But we'll see. We can't, we can't make something happen. I'd shoot three of those. Dang. getting closer are you gonna be able to video from that position yeah let's do that Go back, see if we can't get around them. Dude, there's just no way. It's too open. We gotta get back around them. The tallest one? Yeah. That's where you're gonna wanna be. Okay. Can hurry up so I can get by here without spooking. Good luck, boys. See you on the road. All right, guys, we just spotted some really nice bull. It's about to cross the road. Hopefully, we can cut them off, get there in time. That's the same herd from this morning. So 
but right now we're even with them on the other side of the road and they keep wanting to come this way. So we'll see. We'll see if they cross the road, but we're in a perfect spot right now. We're paralleling them and they're getting close to the road. There's too tall right here. The only thing I can think of is walk straight at him with my ball above my head. You wanna do it? Nope. <laughs> Dude, they're out of there. You can't terrain it. See, they're just hauling already. They're 700 yards away and we were 150, 200 yards? I'd say 150. Yeah, those four were good. Yeah. It's the same herd oh. from this morning. Yeah, maybe we'll find them again, but all you could have hoped for was them crossing. Yeah, the road, and they, and just, they didn't, just didn't happen. Yeah. They cross the road and you can pull on. Because the only terrain is the road, essentially. A couple of bushes. Hello everyone and welcome back to day number four of Alaska caribou hunt. Um, weather is a little bit better today. It's a little colder, but it's not raining, which is good. But we have also a little situation. We're almost out of gas, so we have to make a 160 mile run north to Dead Horse, which is the northernmost part of the world you can drive to. Fun fact, so we're gonna be as far north as we possibly can go. Basically, Russia. Justin oh, yeah. still in flops. That is right. <laughs> <laughs> the flop Gosh, life is dang. the life for me. <laughs> We finally made it to Dead Horse or Prudhoe Bay, however you want to call it. And we're filling up all of the gas, maybe gonna get some food and then head back down. We really did not see a whole lot of caribou heading up. And gas is $5. It's 5089. 5089. Super expensive gas. But especially with what we're doing, we have so much gas that we burn through. We just need it. We have like no option, so. Still got the flops on. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Sticker, dead horse. It's kind of windy out here. This may or may not be the best pizza on the entire planet. This is probably second in the nurses, too. Dude, this pizza looks phenomenal. Uh huh. It's really good pizza. Probably because we haven't had anything realistically cooked decent in six days. So we're on our way back from Dead Horse. I was taking a nap <laughs> and these guys stopped and said, 
caribou. And sure enough, there's a bull out in the middle of this marsh. Uh, we're making a stock on him, it's so wide open, so we're just going right up at him. Taylor and Sage has got their bows. Let's see if we can make something happen. Just keep working towards me. Pretty good. Well, those caribou went over the hill. That's too far away. So it seems like every story ending of this trip is they got too far ahead and kept running farther away. So we're gonna keep going. Hopefully switch up the game plan a little bit, try to get more in front of them. See if we can make it happen again. It's like nine o'clock PM. End of day four of hunting. <laughs> like probably like day six of the entire trip for me, but day four of hunting. Uh, today was a lot of time in the truck. We drove all the way to Dead Horse, um, which is really cool. Northernmost part of driving. Uh, we put on one stock on that one caribou that Taylor was trying to get on and Sage for that point. And um, we saw some, but it was just a lot of miles to get gas. So tomorrow we're gonna hit it hard again in the morning. It is really cold right now in the forecast. It's only supposed to get colder with the possibility of snow, which is good for caribou movement, but bad for visibility because these fog or this fog just rolls right in. So I'm really cold and I'm ready for bed because it's midnight. So we'll catch you guys next time.